Hey, this is JT from Famous Last Words. Welcome to Digital Tour Bus Bus Invaders. We just got our latest van. His name is Harrison Ford. Last time you saw him, he uh, he was brand new to us. We had some some little features in there, but since then we have upgraded. So let's check her out, eh? Oh hi. Oh hello. Here we have the front cabin. Um, it is also separated by this curtain. Hey with magnets, so he can't peek out as easy. Check that out. And then, trusty uh, phone holder. These are all over our van right now because mm -hmm. we were sick of the chamber of farts. We were over it. We didn't want now that anymore. Now, now it smells like the red skull. Now, it's, now it smells like a middle school, you know, gym. <laughs> and also in the van, we have nifty loadout gloves for our baby soft hands. We can't, uh, we can't handle all this roughness. We get calluses and blisters. So we're little bitches and we wear gloves. Anyways, uh, what else we got up here? Zip ties. These are good for pretty much anything. Um, we have zip tied our inverter to uh, all the way up around in there into our uh, battery. And it's just got a zip tied cord and zip tied stuff back everything zip tied these it's all you need and to tour all you need to get are zip ties and then you're good you can go on tour so oh and of course <laughs> hand sanitizer <laughs> uh yeah this is major important if you don't have this you're really fucking up you'll get sick you'll probably get aids and die up here this is the same uh cd player we've had for a while What's cool is every show we play, we get um, any of the bands that open for us usually give us some new CDs, so that's always really sweet because we're always looking for some new music to play when we're doing our long drives. Um, yeah, but pretty much for that, uh, the driving entertainment is, is just this little guy and we'll usually listen through headphones actually, so we, act, we don't even use this that much. Um, earlier today we were listening to uh, the member Barry's version of uh, Africa by Toto. That was that was a really good way to wake up and remember start the day. Africa. I remember. I remember. Yeah, I remember. Oh hey, how's it going? Oh, what's up? Welcome Hi. to the welcome to the welcome back to of the cribs. Van. Welcome to <laughs> welcome to Van Cribs. Here we got our trusty vacuum. We keep things extra clean in here. But I, what I really want to show you guys is these additions right here that we've made. These lovely bunks. Welcome to the dungeon. <laughs> We have bunks pretty much for everybody now that travels with us. We've got six in total. So we have one bench up here still. This just kind of becomes the junk, not bunk because it's not a bunk, but the junk bench. I'm not this junk. is where, you're not junk, you're, you're not, you're not junk. You don't, doesn't matter what anybody says. Um, this is where backpacks go. This is where, you know, miscellaneous odds and ends kind of end up. A lot of my clothes end up up here for one reason or another. A lot of uh, trash trash because as people drive and they throw their coffee cups on the ground or their whatever wrappers um, so everything just kind of accumulates up here but it's kind of nice because that means it doesn't end up in our bunks we don't have to sleep with all of our trash kind of strewn about um, everybody has a comfortable place to lay out completely and get some decent sleep on the road which generally doesn't happen when you're trying to sleep on one of these benches and you have these little guys hanging out, they tend to dig into your body in a very uncomfortable way. So uh, Master Carpenter Matt Bell over here decided to throw us in two more bunks in the space that was originally just Who one bench. Knows? Um, and it's so, clearly not my bunk because I'm yeah. hanging out of it. <laughs> I'm too tall. Craig, uh, Craig takes the bottom bunk. Our merch guy Justin sleeps up top here. Um, and then we have the other four of us sleep in the back, back here in the igloo ice dungeon, because it's always freezing or freezing. it's always freezing or burning. That's kind of the the general consensus the for the back ground. here. What we did is we pretty much just built the actual beds themselves. Actually, Matt, you built them, so why don't you uh, why don't you walk us through how you built them and put them All in, right, so, and then I'll talk about how we so got the bed in. So basically, we got some space, and then we take wood. <laughs> screws and the last part of the equation is a chop saw and then this happens so yeah. that's basically it 
then you uh, you catch this super fancy six inch foam off Amazon.com. They should pretty much sponsor Squishy. this band at this point. Um, and yeah, you just cut it to the shape you want so that it fits on. And I mean, it's not the Hilton, but I tell you what, it works when you're exhausted and you need a place to lay down. Is that a Ninja Turtle reference? It ain't the Hilton, but it'll do. <laughs> Second Ninja Turtle movie when they're in the train. <sighs> It was an unintentional Ninja Turtle reference. Hey, fuck. Uh, so when we tell you know our, our friends or our girlfriends or whoever they see this, they're like, oh my god, how do you how do you do it? How do you put up with that for months on end? And we're like, are you kidding? This is this is like living. high society. This is fine living in here. Most bands either have like some piecemeal like just one flat surface and another like death trap underneath it. Like in our old digital tour bus video when we, had, we had the cuddle puddle when we had the cuddle puddle <laughs> in the rental van and we just kind of had to put as many bodies on the floor this way everybody has a spot everybody has their own place you can kind of get comfortable in it you don't have to worry about like oh my god am i laying in another person's sweat or is somebody going to come wake me up and say like hey man move over everybody has their own place everybody has their own like personal space and at the end of the night when we're all exhausted that's the nicest thing just to be able to like go lay down you know, we don't have to go, oh man, if I want to, if, if you're sharing bunks and this is somebody's bunk, this is somebody's bed basically, and I want to sit here and talk to whoever's driving, that person would just kind of have to suck it up or I would just have to be like, well, I guess I'll just have to go back to bed. Now we kind of have enough space. Everybody has their own area. Everybody has their own little bit of comfort. They can set it up however they want. They can do whatever they want. Some of us have curtains back here in the back to block out light. Um, you know, we all have like our own little organization techniques. So it's night and day difference. And I, I, I don't know how we did it before without just like getting on everyone's nerves. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm just chilling here uh, in my bunk watching some cartoons because I got this nifty uh, thing here. Magnet right on the top of my bunk makes it so I can watch cartoons anytime I want. Plug in right here, got my fan, I got extra leg room now, and some air fresheners which we talked about before, some headphones, I got my own home theater. Oh, this right here is the struggle of getting into the bed. Oh, this is what happens when we have broad shoulders. This is what happens every time we're going down the road and I want to go to bed. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 So, my area the has world of two Bell. fans. Two. I got cross ventilation up in here. Two. Mm hmm. That's what's <laughs> up. Not to mention, this tour we added an additional six inches of leg room. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Much needed. Much fully stretch out. And check this out. See this gross little crack? Gross as fuck. Perfect for shoes. Oh. Right there. Stinky feet. Sometimes. Sometimes. All right. Good night, dude. Good night, Matt Pell. This is my bunk. There's not really anything special about it. I got some some tape under some of these holes here so that my stuff doesn't fall into JT's bunk. Except that one time that you fell into my bunk. Oh yeah. yeah. I happens. have a problem rolling out of this because some people like to turn a little too dangerously. I won't point any fingers. <laughs> but I, I'm the guy that rolls out of the bunk. That's why Matt's blanket has these nice little tears in it and I have a nice bruise on my leg tie tie I'm not the one that's turning too sharp <laughs> but I got an empty Cheeto bag get that that's trash good. out of here trash <laughs> I got yeah that's pretty much all I got I got some nice little things from Walmart shelves that fit perfectly that hold on my stuff Ow. Well, it's pretty simple. I had a fan up here, like up like this, but my 
head kept hitting it because I'm too, even though we have an extra couple inches, I'm still too tall. So my head kept hitting it, so I got mad and threw it up front. That's, yeah. That's my bunk. All right, so let's check out the trailer. I know last time I showed you guys everything that we had done to it, but this tour, we have an additional shelf right here, which is the nutrient shelf. All them goodies to keep us healthy. I got my super critical omega-3s, you know, in my brain. What else do we got? Of course we got cough drops, hand sanitizer on lock, you know, ibuprofen, everyone's always got a headache. Got my other dietary supplements. You know, you don't get this stuff at a gas station. I'm telling you, you do not get this stuff at a gas station. Last but not least, my favorite cereal grass. I'm the only one that's that takes this. Let's let's be real. Where, where did my vitamins go? I had a bag. Uh, yeah. I had my bag of vitamins. Where'd they go? Uh, I don't know. I guess it looks like you guys tidied up. But yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. My vitamins, vitamin A. <laughs> still, still all I have in my backpack. You know, we all love each other. You know, <laughs> we all are a little different in some ways. You know, but at the end of the day, gotta keep get, yourself get healthy in your yeah, own way. Exactly. You know. All right, guys, that was the trailer. <laughs> well, there you have it. That is Harrison Ford and our lovely trailer. And uh, check out our latest record, The Incubus. It's out on Revival Recordings. And yeah, we'll see you next time.